From unprecedented amount of rain in Evia to the fires that ravaged hundreds of thousands of hectares of land in ancient Olympia, Greece has suffered a series of extreme weather events since the summer. Scientists blame these events on climate change. But Greece is fighting back. It's pushing for a transition to clean energy and carbon neutrality by producing renewable energy at record levels. Indeed, the 6th of September was a day of records for the Greek renewable sector. 81% of the total clean energy produced in the country was provided by wind. And in total, 60% of the total energy consumed on that day was offered by clean renewable energy sources. We have several periods during the last years where renewables provide with a big percentage of the total energy consumption. Uh, and this means that basically we are undergoing a huge energy transition in Greece. The thumping sound of the giant blades can be heard throughout the hills in northern Evia. Meanwhile, hundreds of miles of underwater cables link Greece's mainland power stations to the country's popular vacation destinations. It allows the islands to ditch their oil-burning generators for renewable power from wind and sun. The country's independent power transmission operator, or IPTO, allows the electrical interconnection of almost all Greek islands. It's part of a $5.7 billion green investment program starting with Greece's largest island of Crete and then moving north towards the Kiklades. The interconnections have already helped oiled fire power plants in Paros, Syros and Mykonos to reduce their CO2 emissions by 30% by simply using more wind energy and less petroleum. But Greece's IPTO is not limited to its borders. It's expanding to neighboring countries as the European Union seeks to take the lead in the race to stop climate change. If we have grid connecting Greece, not only with the European countries on the north, but also with countries in the south and east, like Cyprus, like Israel, like Egypt, we can make sure that whenever there is an issue of adequacy within our country, we can get energy, import energy from renewable energy sources, for example, that can be installed in Cyprus, in Egypt, in Israel. The same also stands for these countries. They can import energy from us whenever they are in lack of local energy production. And of course, it's an issue of security. You have alternate, alternate energy sources, because as I told you before, the extreme climate conditions that we faced during the last years brings us in the limits of our local production system. Although many Greeks still seem hesitant over the transition to renewable energy from fossil fuels, this summer's wildfires and extreme weather patterns help drive home the message that climate change is real and it's already here. Greece uh, is steadily transforming itself into a regional hub for green energy. Our recent agreement with Egypt for a new electricity interconnection is a case in point, and Greece is also the logical entry point for green hydrogen produced in the Middle East and in Northern Africa into the European market. Last but not least, the Cabinet will approve this week our new climate bill, which will set ambitious targets with regards to climate change. Although Greece is still struggling to stay on its feet from the devastating decade-long debt crisis, the government continues to adopt a green agenda, meeting its climate goals and helping the EU meet its goal of abandoning fossil fuels by 2050.